Welcome, intrepid seekers of the unknown. As we embark on a journey through the annals of history, venturing into the realms of the enigmatic and the inexplicable. Today, we invite you to join us on a gripping exploration of a forgotten chapter in the life of a legendary figure. In the vast and treacherous wilderness of 1830s Texas, where danger and opportunity danced in harmony, stood a man whose name echoed through the ages, Davy Crockett. Known for his daring adventures and unyielding spirit, Crockett's larger-than-life persona has captivated our imaginations for generations. But behind the tales of his heroism lies a lesser-known narrative, a haunting encounter that defies conventional explanation. As we journey through this riveting account, we will confront the limits of our understanding as the line between reality and myth becomes blurred. We will question the very nature of existence and contemplate the possibility of a world beyond our comprehension. Join us, fearless explorers, as we unearth the truth that lies beneath the layers of time and embrace the thrill of the unknown. Together, let us venture into the heart of Davy Crockett's encounter, a tantalizing enigma that beckons us to uncover its secrets. Davy Crockett, a well-known figure in American history, became a household name in the 1950s when actor Fess Parker portrayed him in a Walt Disney TV miniseries. But there's one encounter in Crockett's life that is seldom discussed. A strange and chilling encounter with a large, ape-like creature. Born into a poor French Huguenot family in 1786, Davy's upbringing was humble, but it instilled within him a fierce independence and a hunger for adventure. Growing up in the rugged backwoods of Tennessee, Davy had little opportunity for formal education. He was a wild child, often skipping school to wander the wilderness, learning the ways of the land from his surroundings. However, he did receive a hundred days worth of tutoring from a neighbor who recognized his potential. As a young man, Davy worked odd jobs as an extra farmhand and cattle driver, but it wasn't until he returned home to help his father pay off their debts that his destiny began to take shape. Davy's charisma and populist policies won him the loyalty of many smaller landowners and agricultural workers, leading to his rapid rise in local politics. In 1827, Davy Crockett's political ambitions took him to the national stage as he won a seat in the House of Representatives. His down-to-earth persona and folksy charm made him a beloved figure among the American people. However, he soon found himself at odds with President Andrew Jackson and his supporters, whose grudge against Davy ran deep. Despite his successes in politics, Davy yearned for something more. He was captivated by the idea of Texas applying for statehood and saw an opportunity to lead a revolution in the territory. In 1836, after losing his bid for re-election, Davy fulfilled his promise and journeyed to Texas to fight for its independence. In 1836, Crockett wrote a letter to his brother-in-law, Abner Bergen, describing his encounter with a hairy monster in Nacogdoches, Texas. At that time, the terms Bigfoot and Sasquatch were not yet popular, but many believed that what Crockett saw was similar to these legendary creatures. Apologies for the interruption. If you have a moment, your support means the world to us. Liking, subscribing, commenting, or sharing our content greatly assists us on our YouTube journey. These actions contribute to the modest earnings we receive. If you enjoy our stories, please show your support by engaging with our channel. Thank you for your support. And now, back to the show. Even to this day, Eastern Texas and the town of Nacogdoches have had their fair share of Bigfoot sightings but Crockett's account stands out as one of the earliest and most credible reports. In his letter, he recounts the events that unfolded during his fateful encounter. Crockett and his companions were making their way through thick wilderness, clearing a path as they went. As the others continued their work, Crockett took a break to rest and enjoy his lunch. Little did he know that this peaceful pause would turn into a truly eerie experience. As Crockett sat, enjoying the sounds of birds chirping, he noticed a disturbance caused by his axe tapping against a tree. Whether it was the sound or the intense heat of the sun, an apparition slowly materialized in front of his eyes. 
an eight-foot-tall creature resembling a large ape-man. Suddenly, Crockett found himself face to face with the creature straight out of a nightmare. Its hair was a tangled mess, standing on end as if charged with electricity. Piercing amber eyes held a gaze that seemed to penetrate Crockett's very soul, filled with ancient wisdom and an unsettling intensity. The creature's mouth was filled with rows of broken and jagged teeth, jutting out at odd angles. Its visage was twisted and deformed, evoking a primal fear in Crockett's heart. As terror gripped his senses, Crockett involuntarily spat out the bread he had been eating, his stomach churning with unease. To his astonishment, the grotesque beast spoke, its voice rumbling with an otherworldly resonance. The words reverberated through the air, carrying with them an urgency and a sense of impending doom. Leave this land, Davy Crockett. The creature's voice echoed, each syllable chilling Crockett's marrow. Flee Texas and abandon this lost cause. There is danger lurking here, a darkness that will consume all who stand against it. Crockett's breath hitched in his chest as he grappled with the messages conveyed by this nightmarish being. Was it a warning born out of genuine concern, or was there a more sinister agenda at play? The creature's words seemed to penetrate deep into his being, stirring a mixture of apprehension and curiosity within him. Although part of him yearned to heed the creature's unearthly warning and escape the looming threat, Crockett's resilience and determination to fight for what he believed in wavered. He couldn't simply abandon his convictions and the cause he held so dear. And so, conflicted and haunted by the encounter, he mulled over the creature's cryptic words, unsure of the true meaning behind them. Little did Crockett know that this encounter in the Texas wilderness would forever linger in his thoughts, an enigma that would never be unraveled. As he continued his fateful journey, his path intertwined with destiny, and the events that followed would solidify his place in history. But the memory of that supernatural encounter with the beast, its ominous words etched in his mind, would forever leave a mark on his spirit a haunting reminder of the inexplicable and the uncharted depths of the human experience. Perplexed by this encounter, Crockett questioned the creature's warning. But before he could receive any answers, the beast vanished into thin air, like morning steam dissipating in a mist. Shaken by the experience, Crockett swore off eating beef and pork for a few days. Arriving at the Alamo mission in San Antonio, Davy joined forces with other volunteers who shared his determination to free Texas from Mexican rule. They found themselves under siege by a formidable Mexican army led by General Santa Ana. Despite their heroic efforts, the defenders of the Alamo were outnumbered and ultimately overwhelmed. It was in this fateful battle that Davy Crockett lost his life, becoming a martyr for the cause of Texan independence. Davy Crockett's death at the Alamo cemented his place in American history as a symbol of bravery and determination. His larger-than-life image, complete with his trademark coonskin cap, captured the hearts and imaginations of generations to come. His story, filled with adventure, struggle, and ultimate sacrifice, has become an enduring part of the American mythos. The eerie encounter Crockett described in his letter was largely forgotten, Overshadowed by his heroic death at the Alamo, historians speculated whether the account was an attempt by Crockett to entertain his brother-in-law or something more extraordinary. Some pointed out that Crockett's insistence on changing the wording of the Oath of Allegiance to include the term Republican revealed his honor and commitment to fighting against a non-elected dictator. They argued that this integrity gave credence to his account of the creature. Still, Others proposed that the encounter was a figment of Crockett's imagination, a lucid dream or hallucination induced by the heat and exhaustion. The truth remains elusive and may never be known. But what is striking is how few people are aware of this incident. With so many of Crockett's feats and experiences celebrated and embellished over the years, it's peculiar that this particular tale has fallen through the cracks. Perhaps it is to preserve the image of a flawless hero, untarnished by a strange and unsettling encounter. Whatever the case may be, the encounter with the ape-like creature in the deep woods of East Texas remains an enigmatic and captivating story. 
it raises questions about what Davy Crockett truly experienced and reminds us that even the most revered figures in history may have had encounters with the unexplainable. Even as time has marched forward, eastern Texas and the idyllic town of Nacogdoches continue to be shrouded in whispers of mysterious encounters. Stories of Bigfoot sightings echo through the ages, captivating both the locals and intrepid explorers from afar. Crockett's harrowing tale serves as a bridge between the lore of the past and the countless sightings that have followed. It reveals a world where curious beings, reminiscent of Bigfoot or Sasquatch legends, roam the untamed expanses, hidden in the depths of the dense woodlands. However, it is important to note that during Crockett's time, terms like Bigfoot or Sasquatch were not yet part of the vernacular. Instead, his account speaks to a creature that can only be described as an ape-man, a sight as extraordinary as it was menacing. The echoes of Crockett's experience find resonance in the collective consciousness of the region. From the depths of these wildernesses, tales emerge of figures that defy explanation, sightings that send shivers down the spines of those brave enough to venture into the unknown. Legends merge with reality as documented accounts pepper the local folklore, each whisper adding another layer of intrigue and curiosity to the region's Bigfoot chronicles. Among these sightings, a few stand out vividly in the memories of those who have encountered the mysterious beings of the East Texas woodlands. From the shadowy swamps to the dense pine forests, accounts have been fashioned over the years. The infamous Lake Worth monster sent shockwaves through the community in the late 1960s with its alleged rock-throwing antics. The Honey Island Swamp Monster became a fixture of local lore, its terrifying presence haunting the minds of all who dared to tread the eerie Louisiana-Texas border. And let us not forget the chilling tale of the Folk Monster, a creature supposedly lurking amidst the bayous of nearby Arkansas its terrifying visage etched in the memories of those who have glimpsed it. These documented encounters, along with countless untold stories whispered under moonlit skies, weave a tapestry of wonder and mystery, beckoning us to explore the realms beyond our understanding. As we follow in Crockett's footsteps, tracing his encounter with the unexplained, we are reminded that in the vast expanse of the East Texas region, the line between the ordinary and the extraordinary is forever blurred. Today the legend of Davy Crockett lives on, reminding us of the indomitable spirit that has shaped the American frontier. His legacy serves as a testament to the power of perseverance and the belief in a cause greater than oneself. Davy Crockett may be gone, but his spirit roams the untamed wilderness of the American imagination, forever embodying the essence of the true American hero.